Happy Wednesday, everybody. We've got a 12-box Vlad Jr. baseball mixer coming at you. It looks like a nice one. And at the end of the break, we're going to give away a Vlad Guerrero Jr. autographed baseball. Big thanks to all of these folks right here for getting into it. And look at all these teams right here. All teams are in. And let's randomize each list. Eight times. Two and a six. Eight times. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, and eighth in a final time. After eight times, we got Ryan L. all the way down to Nancy. Eight times for the team. Let's randomize those teams. Eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, six, seven, and eighth and final time. After eight times. Good luck, everybody. We got the Seattle Mariners down to the Minnesota Twins. All right, so Ryan L., you have the Mariners. Drew with the Royals. Jason, you got the Braves. Boombox with the White Sox. Mark, you got my Dodgers. Brian Crouch with the Pirates. Jason with the Astros. Jeff Iveson with the Tigers. Rick Barker with the Rays. Nancy with the Fighting Phils. John Parsons, you got the A's. Jody, you got the Indians. Dennis Jenkins with the Rockies. Juan, you got the Padres. Jack with the Yankees. TJ with the Blue Jays. David Duffy, you got the Angels. Boombox with the Giants. Austin with the Cardinals. Darren McKenzie, you got the Mets. Rick with the O's. Michael Koontz with the Red Sox. Nats for Jeremy. Thomas Dudley, Cincinnati Reds. Last spot, Mojo. Chris Parent with the Marlins. Big Boys 007 with the Brew Crew. David Bruins with the Diamondbacks. Karen with the Rangers. David with the Cubs. And Nancy, you have the Twins. Let's order these alphabetically. It's column B. Feel free to trade if you like. Now, before you trade, keep in mind the uh, the different years that we have here. We got a couple boxes of 2016, one, two, three, four boxes of 2018, and a bunch of 2019. We're gonna start with the oldest and go to the newest. We'll probably do the. I guess we'll probably do Inception last. Oh, and the Bowman Chrome HTA last. So just FYI, I think those have the nicest potential for hits. All right, we got Astros up for trade, O's up for trade. O's Astros. We'll give it a few moments right here. So here's all the different boxes here. And so at the end of the break, we'll do a new randomizer and we'll randomize this autographed Vlad Guerrero Jr. baseball. JSA and everything. All right, so a lot of trade offers going out there. Jeremy S. Saying Nats, Nats are up for trade. Nats for Astros, maybe. Pirates up for trade. O's for Nats, maybe. Brew Crew for Giants. Diamondbacks for Dodgers. A lot of offers flying out there. We'll give it a few extra moments. Here's the list again. So I got to say that um, these aren't for sale. You have to buy a, a series one box, and then you can get, I think, extra packs. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. O's for D-backs, maybe? Otherwise, we will, uh, otherwise we will continue. David Bruins, you like you like Orioles? Rick Barker, you okay with that? Orioles Diamondbacks, switch it up.
Obi-Wan, what's going on? Jody's wants to move the uh, Indians, everybody. I'm just waiting for Rick Barker to confirm. Rick, do you want to do snakes, four O's? All right, he says yes. All right, so snakes for O's confirmed. So, Rick, you're now in the Diamondback spot. David Bruins, you're now in the Orioles spot. So we'll put a T next to there for trade. So we can keep track at home, see which team draws first blood in this. Anything, anyone else? It doesn't look like any other deals are going to be done. Um, no, this is the uh, second break of the night, Brad. We did an Infinity War break. All right, well, let's close up that trade window then. I don't think anything else is going to happen, but we did get one trade in the books. TWC trade window closed. Let's print. Let's rip. Everyone just double check to make sure that you are live as well. Like Nightbot suggesting every once in a while, refresh the page or the app. That will get should get you to the most current part of the stream. Make sure you're streaming at 720p as well. All right, so here is the official printout. May already. Man. All right, there you go. Good luck, everyone. So let's start in the past. What's the oldest box that we have here? 2016 Donruss Optic. Right down here. Looks like these two are the oldest boxes. And we'll do we'll do these two at the end. So let's slide these out. All right, good luck, everybody. Yeah, isn't that weird? A quarter of the year is gone, just like that. I feel like we were just getting back to like getting back from like the new year, starting January. Yeah. Super Bowl's already over. March Madness is already over. Baseball's already started. Crazy. space here. All right, good luck everybody. Well, hot box would be nice. There's autograph hot boxes and parallel hot boxes. So nothing is sold. Well, there's one break sold out after this, ladies and gentlemen. And the next break, we should be ready to go around 7 o'clock Pacific. So if you're not in this break, I would I would hit up jazbeescasebreaks.com, start grabbing some spots and some teams and build some momentum for the next break and then the next and the next. Alright, good luck everybody. Let's start off with Matt Carpenter and Michael Reed for the Brewers. Rated rookie autograph going to Big Boys 007. A little bit of try to trade, couldn't trade mojo. There's Lucas Giolito. And we've got Paul Goldschmidt at a 299. 
Carl Edwards Jr. Autograph for the Cubbies. That goes to David Duffy and the Cubs. Rookie auto. There you go. I think Cubs are rolling, right? They are up 9 nothing in the top of the 7th in Seattle. Seattle, after a hot start to the season, struggling over the last week or so. <laughs> Vlad Guerrero Jr. Autograph. Wow. In our Vlad Guerrero Jr. break, here's a Vlad Guerrero Jr. autograph out of 2016. Donner's Optic Baseball. TJ with the Blue Jays. Did not expect that at all. 11 out of 50. This is an autograph hot box as well. I think TJ called that as well. This is our third autograph. That is nice. Vlad Guerrero Jr. in our Vlad Guerrero Jr. break. You're welcome, man. There's Brian Ellington to 150. Rated rookie on card autograph for the Marlins. Marlins, that'll be Chris Parent. <laughs> Out of one fit. Next to, gosh, next to like Bowman stuff. This must be one of his earlier autos. Right, 2016. Kenta Maeda to 199, rated rookie parallel. Caleb Cowart, autograph for the Angels. <laughs> there, we'll randomize this to somebody. That actually doesn't go to San Diego, folks. He is not employed by the San Diego Padres. He's just a chicken from San Diego. Caleb going to David Duffy and the Angels. And TJ was saying earlier, TJ was saying earlier that if you send this card to him, he will autograph it. So we'll set this aside for the randomizer. So in the randomizer, the name on top will get the Vlad Guerrero Jr. autograph baseball which is right here. I think his autograph has improved since a few years ago. And then the second name will get the San Diego chicken card. Yeah, Big Boy 007, I think you're right. He must have been like 17 years old in that picture, right? And there's out of 299, Michael Conforto. What a start. All right, so we'll have these top loaded before they get sorted and shipped out. Nice Vlad Guerrero Jr., TJ, out of our Vlad Guerrero Jr. mixer. That is strong. See? Jaspies, where magic happens. This kind of magic happens happens here. Gee, Lo's like almost if that if that almost like it was planned. I wish we could plan stuff like that. If we had like some sort of X-ray vision. That'd be we're, we're, we're the X-ray vision is only good and only good enough to see the hits inside cases of cards. All right, now we are in 2016. 2016 Tops Chrome Baseball, right? Is that it? Yeah, Tops Chrome Baseball. I think we have a couple finals, right? A lot of finals. And early, I think a couple teams are playing double headers too. Royals beat the Rays three to two. Red Sox beat the uh, A's seven to three. Pirates beat the Rangers again seven to five. And the Diamondbacks edged out the Yankees three to two to sweep the Yankees. The second game of the double header, wow! Royals won again eight to two over the Rays. And then uh, the Orioles beat the 
the White Sox 5-4 in the first game of the doubleheader, and they're leading 1-0 in the second game of the doubleheader. Rex, is, Rex is, is, is imagining, what if TJ runs the table on Vlad Guerrero Jr.'s? Vlad Guerrero Jr. is out of Bowman, wins the Vlad Guerrero Jr. autograph baseball. That would be pretty cool. That'd be quite a run. Breaking news, folks. Joey Gallo is hitting like 260. <laughs> Just looked that up earlier today. 11 home runs. The home runs, you know, are going to happen, but it's hitting like 260. I'll take that from Joey Gallo. All right. Get out of here. Good luck, boys and girls. <laughs> There's Robert Stevenson, rookie auto for the Reds. Thomas Dudley, last spot mojo, red legs. I think we've seen him in action this year. All right, out of the pen, maybe? There's Kelby Tomlinson, a rookie auto for the Giants. That goes to Boombox. And the Giants, there's Jose Altuve, purple. There's Altuve, 275. <laughs> yeah, that's Robert Louis Siv Stevenson, Mr. Mike Zaddy. Baseball pitcher and uh, an author, Treasure Island. Looks like that is that for 2016. So the there's a Hobbit movie on TNT. I just have it on TNT just waiting for basketball. Why do these eagles just show up? They never show up when you need them to show up. I don't know. The eagles bother me. All right, um, what's the next box? Let's go into 2018 now. I think the rest is 2018 and 2019. Let's start with... Uh, oh, why don't we go with some Diamond Kings? Some 2018 Diamond Kings. I guess those eagles only, those Lord of the Ring eagles only show up when you really need them to show up. Uh, Rhino, what's going on? How's the night going? Well, in our Vlad Guerrero Jr. mixer, Brian, which we're doing right now, we pulled a Vlad Guerrero Jr. from 2016 Donner's Optic Baseball, believe it or not. What else is happening in baseball today? Cubs are shutting out the, the Mariners 9 to nothing. Cardinals have a 3-1 lead over the Nats. Phillies have a 1-0 lead on the Tigers in the top of the sixth. The Marlins leading the Indians 3-1, bottom of the sixth. In the bottom of the sixth, Reds and Mets are tied. Braves have a slim 2-1 lead on the Padres in the middle of the sixth inning. 
Rockies leading the Brewers 3-2. Twins leading the Astros early 2-0, bottom of the third. Whoa. TJ is TJ saying, TJ is saying, you know, it's crazy. A few years back, he won a pack of contenders 2015. There was a Vlad Jr. International Auto. So you do like you like the Jays Jaspy luck there. That is some good Jays Jaspy luck. It's Reese Hoskins. And Miguel Andujar. Original materials. Dual relic going to the Yankees. That'll be for Jack. J.D. Davis, red frame. And Francisco Lindor, sepia for the tribe that goes to Jody. Jackie Robinson, red frame. Dubal Herrera. Is Dallas Keuchel going to get a job this year? We got Mike Napoli, jersey and auto, jumbo material signatures, 24 out of 25 for the Rangers. It goes to Karen. Whoa, Brian O. I remember you telling that story on Monday. That's awesome. So Brian's saying, dude, I'm only self-promoting due to veteran awareness. No, that's, in that case, that's okay. So on his flight back, Brian O, Kansas City to Milwaukee, he met a veteran, right? Invited him to a game, Afghanistan, I think he said on Monday. And invited him to a game directly after the flight. He obliged. He posted on Facebook. It went viral. Got interviewed by multiple TV stations. It'll be featured on local news tonight. Try to save that video. Post it to, like, YouTube or something. I'd like to watch that. Then we can see what Brian O looks like. Save that Otani as well as this one. I think these rookie Otanis from Diamond Kings and all their variations still have some decent value. Should be back hitting soon for the Angels, so all those will go to David Duffy. There's Joe Cronin, Otani, and Bryce Harper. Lard, what's going on? Well, good move, Brian O. All right. Let's see. What should we do next? 2018 Tops Chrome? Sure. Right, 2018 Topps Chrome Baseball that should be five autographs per box. Yeah, absolutely, Brian. Even little things like that can make it can make a world of difference for uh, for veterans.
Uh, Nick Jaspi's dad. Navy guy. And of course, my dad did the, uh, when he was a kid, the mandatory military service to have in South Korea. So he was in the military for a little bit too. All right. Good luck, everybody. I think I saw a little thicker card right there. Let's see what that's all about. Good luck, everybody. We're in the midst of our Vlad Guerrero Jr. Mixer, where we're giving away an autographed Vlad Guerrero Jr. Baseball at the end of the break. Separate dice roll. And there's Brivek Valera. I realize that due to the glare, it's kind of hard to spot some of these autographs. So yell at me if I, if I miss one. There's Dominic Smith, blue, to 150. And there's Parker Bridwell for the Angels. That goes to David Duffy. What's he going to do this year? Is he just chilling this year? Wow. And autographed. Woo. Victor Robles. Medallion and autograph. Wow. What a break. Jeremy S. and the Nationals. Wasn't he trying to trade the Nats? This is another, another one of Nationals' big prospects next to Juan Soto, Trey Turner, Victor Robles. All right there. 24 out of 99. Tried to trade, couldn't trade Mojo. Nice. Oh, God. I've got two nice hits to snap pictures of. And there's, wow, what a box. Glaber Torres. It's Glaber Day. Rookie auto. Purple for the Yankees. Jack B with that one. 91 out of 250. It's Glaber Day. It is high. It is far. It is out of here. Glaber Day for Glaber Torres. For you guys familiar with Yankees radio. There's Nick Williams, Blue Wave. For the Phillies. Out of 75. And Curie Mella. Or May, I think, for the red legs. De uh, no, Thomas Dudley with the red legs. Last spot mojo. So that's one, two, three, four, and that Victor Robles was five. So that should be it for the autos. Let's see if we have some other low numbered parallels. Freshman Flash, Otani. Where's Craig? Where, where's this guy gonna go? Wow, and another autograph, Harrison Bader. Austin Caruso. So we got five. So this must be a bonus. I'll take that for the uh, Austin Caruso with the cards. Right. 
right, there you go. Another nice box in the books. Jeff Ivins, is ner you're nervous already? We still have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight boxes to go. I wouldn't worry just yet. He's like, I have yet to see a Tigers card. I think I did see a Tigers card. No, we are, we are far from over. Play to the whistle. <laughs> All right. We're going to save the HTA f and the Inception for the end of the break. So now high tech. Two on-card autographs inside. Rex wants Kimbrel on the Cubs. And then move Addison Russell and Ian Happ. We got Victor Robles again. Eight out of ten this time, Jeremy. Nice low number. Nice. Giancarlo Stanton, 24 out of 99. Jim Tomei, nice. 32 out of 50 for the Indians. Goes to Jody. Shohei Otani to 99. 62 out of 99 for David Duffy and the Angels. And your autograph is Yankees edition of Dwight Gooden. Wow, what a mixer. Jack B with the Yankees. And another Yankee coming up, Jack. Clint Frazier. Four out of 75. Flavor Torres and Clint Frazier. Nice break. And the out of 10, Victor Robles. Rafael Devers to 150. Miguel Andujar, I think that might be a shorter print. And the rest. Just want to make a note that all, all tech cards will ship. All right. So that's 2018. So now I think we're in, in, in 2019, right? Yeah, that Donner's is 2019. The rest of this is 2019. So we're going to do the rest of these boxes, and then we'll save these two boxes for the end. What up, 2019 Diamond Kings? Let's do that. Financial interest in some of these baseball teams today. I don't know if they're doing well today. Seattle's getting crushed. That's not going to happen. Cardinals? All right, Cardinals are up by two. That's good. What else? Brewers, Giants, Angels. Brewers are only down a run. Angels and Giants are later tonight. Yeah, I went against the Dodgers. There, there was a little bit of value in the Giants. These are value plays, folks. That's what we got to go for. It. Looking for value.
Yeah, I don't think that tech checklist is very big. That's probably why we see a lot of multiples. I think they should go back to the... Remember, Rex, how tech was only like 15 cards or something like that? I think with that smaller checklist, maybe, maybe bring back the smaller packs, the thinner packs. All right, this is 2019. And we've got 69 out of 99, Framber Valdez for the Astros. That's for Jason Reardon. A little try to trade, couldn't trade mojo. There you go. We got Portland at Denver kicking off or tipping off right now. Not kicking off, that's a different sport. Kluber frame. There he is again. Heirs to the throne, Vlad Guerrero Jr. We're going to be giving away his autographed baseball at the end of the break. So even if you don't get a hit, folks, you can still... You're still in play for that Vlad Jr. Autographed baseball. There's Steven Gonsalves. Crowning moment. Vlad Guerrero Jr. Crowning moment, Roger Clemens, Astros edition. Gallery of Stars, Yelich. I think we should have, should have one more hit, right? Like a relic. Oh, there it is. Like a relic. Jersey Kings, Reese Hoskins jersey going to the Phillies. Nancy with the fighting Phils. Bryce Wilson, I think he just got called up recently. Chapman, Henderson, Burns, and Stan the Man. All right, now let's move into some Gypsy Queen. 2019 Tops Gypsy Queen Baseball. Gypsy Queen. And our hearts that beat as one No more love on the run Gypsy Queen All right I want the lip of the pack facing this way. Jeff Ives, you want the baseball for hit list teams only? Maybe next time. These box hoppers could have autos in here too. We haven't seen autos in those yet. Other score changes happening here. I think the Marlins have increased their lead four to one on the Indians. Cubs are up eleven to nothing now. And in the second game of the doubleheader, Orioles and White Sox are tied at one. Detroit, Philadelphia tied at one. Bottom of the seventh, no score in New York. Cincinnati Reds and New York Mets zeros.
yeah, there's a checklist out for Gypsy Queen. This came out a little bit ago. And I think they announced the at least one of the mystery redemptions as well. So for any known mystery redemption, I think it's actually I think it's Vlad Guerrero Jr. For any known mystery redemption, I think he's number one. Mystery redemption number one. Then it will obviously go to the team that he currently plays for. The other the other ones will be uh, will be randomized if they're if any. Those are pretty short printed, so I'd be surprised if we saw one here. But disclaimer, just in case. All right, good luck, folks. 2019 GQ. And we've got Cedric Mullins for the Orioles. That goes to David Bruins, who draws uh, first blood in the trade. Oh, Jody saying Wander Franco is number one mystery redemption. Oh, whatever. We'll we'll look we'll look it up if those mystery redemptions pop out. 149 out of 150 for the O's. Let's see if we could bounce it out with a with a Diamondbacks auto as well. Try to even up that trade. Skins, Tanner Rourke, Benintendi, and Luis Urias is your autograph. That's for the Friars. Juan with that one. There you go, Juan. There you go. Nice one for the Padres. And we got Trey Turner. When's he when's he coming back from that broken finger out of two fifty? Oh, okay, there you go. So T Dudley is saying. So it's not Wander Franco then, Jody? T Dudley, according to him, saying Vlad is the mystery player A, Eloy Jimenez mystery player B for the redemptions. Right, well if it if it pops up, I'll double check on cardboardconnection.com. front variation there okay Jody now confirms that that T Dudley's got it okay there you go it's good to know I don't think I would have I think Nick Jasper reminded me hey those names are out but I don't think I see a redemption in here so it's a moot point but for next break I think we have a couple more boxes of this Gypsy Queen that we may find in another mixer. All right, that's that. Gypsy Queen in the books. Let's see if there's any autographs in here in the box topper. Oh, Gilo's back. 
Well, now we now we can start, Gabe. Glaber Torres. We're just like we can't start this break until, until Gelo's back. Justin Turner. And we got Gene Segura for the Phillies. 150 out of 150. Different parallel there. All right. Great break so far. Let's move into... Let's, let's get into this right here. 2019 Donruss Baseball. Three autographs or memorabilia cards per box on average. I don't think we did any breaks of this. Good luck, everybody. Blarg Zero has got a, got a discussion topic for everybody. So, chat, who are the best five left-handed pitchers in MLB right now? Right now. What does everyone think? Oh, we still have a lot of time to go, folks. We got three hits in here, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We got eleven hits to go. Got plenty of time. Brad says I'm the best left-handed pitcher in MLB right now. In the show, MLB the show. Right now, well, I'm, I'm cheating a little bit. I'm looking at the uh, just the stats of pitching leaders right now. Paxson's got to be up there. He's probably one of the one of the better left-handed pitchers right now. Derek says Max Fried making a case for the top five. Oh, sorry, Brad. Uh, what about what about uh, up and coming prospect Brad Fickus? Is that's a, that's a good left handed prospect right there too. Boyd's a lefty too, right? Right? Patrick Corbin on the Nationals. All right. Good luck, everyone. We got D. Gordon Relic. Nice. That is, looks like 98 out of 99. Wayne, what's going on? Who would be the, who would be the top rookies this year to look for? Well, in 2019, probably Vlad Guerrero Jr., Eloy Jimenez, Fernando Tatis Jr., Those would, those would be the, the pretty big names off the top of my head. As for, 2000, for 2019 rookies. It's Michael Conforto.
There's Teoscar Hernandez to 49. There's Manny Machado to 999. And Adam Jones, 5 out of 5. Diamond Kings Press Proof. That's Orioles edition. That is for David Bruins and the O's. Got the O's in a trade. And now a train whistle. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. The San Diego Chicken has autos in this product. We we may be able to pull it. That would go to that would be a randomizer. Everyone would have a shot at the San Diego Chicken. San Diego Chicken? No. Shohei Otani? Yes. Majestic Materials. Relic for David Duffy and the Angels. Oh, Wayne, Wayne, Wayne. Didn't Tati Sr. have two Grand Slams and anything for the cards? He did. He did, Wayne. Guess who it was off of? I remember it like it was yesterday. <laughs> There's Otani again at a nine ninety nine. And Marco Luciano for the Giants. That'll be for Boombox. I think the anniversary of that two Grand Slam game was like a week ago. He did it off my Dodgers, off of Chan Ho Park. I don't think that'll happen in this day and age. You know what I mean? I, th I think there, there are so many, like, you know, so many, uh, you know, so many, like, relievers and stuff. Is Parker Karachi on a team? No, he's still in college. All right, so this will be after the San Diego Chicken card. So Vlad Guerrero Jr. baseball first, San Diego Chicken card second, this guy third, and any of the similar Team USA type stuff, college or otherwise, unless they're already on a pro team, will be in one lot. But yeah, I think that I think that two that two grand slam and one inning thing is just just not going to happen. But yeah, I think the uh, ooh nice Angel dos Santos de los Santos autograph. But yeah, I think ESPN had an article about or someone had an article about it. That's for the Phillies. That's going to go to Nancy with the Phils. But I want to say that they, uh, that it just kind of, it just kind of ballooned out of nowhere. Like he was fine. And then all of a sudden bases were loaded grand slam. I'm like, all right, just finished off the inning. What are you going to do? You know? And then you kind of blinked and it was like, oh, we're in trouble again. Here comes Fernando Tatis senior. Boom. Granny. <laughs> There's Altuve at 999. Sal Perez. That's pronounced Brandon Lau, by the way. Other Tampa Bay Rays prospect, Nate Lowe, got called up. Same spelling. It's Kristen Stewart for the Tigers.
right, moving right along to moving on to 2019 Bowman Baseball Hobby Edition, one autograph. Then we'll do jumbo. Then we'll finish off with those two boxes right there. Good luck, everybody. How are we doing on time? Oh, this break's gonna take over an hour. That's all right. So after this will be the uh, the personal box that Thomas got of uh, Infinity War and that Hit Parade graded comic. We'll do that. Then we will go through some orders. I see about ten orders coming in right now. Jaspiescasebreaks.com. We'll see what we're gonna do after this. Trailblazers up early, 23-15 on the Nuggets. Ooh, Drew Kerr says, Joe, can you name the only guy to hit a grand slam from both sides of the plate in one game? Mickey Mantle. Or... Or... From both sides of the plate? That's pretty impressive. Anyone else have a, does anyone else know? No, he says more recent. Is this player still active? Oh, Eddie Murray's a good guess. Is Eddie Murray's? I'm kind of blanking on switch hitters, to be honest with you. No, not Wayne. Not uh, not Eddie, says uh, Drew. No, Tiger's a righty. And he doesn't play baseball. Yeah, Brian O says he wants he wants a little extended time on this. He's he's gonna rack his brain. Yeah, don't use the Google machine, folks. Don't do that. That's no fun. Um, not active, but played in the two thousands. Oh, it's got to be Chipper, right? Jared Nictor. That's a good guess. No, it's not Chipper Jones? I think Chipper Jones has one of the the distinction of... Sorry, I know this break's already long enough, but... I want to say... Here, no, I don't know where that set is. Someone confirmed this. I think Chipper Jones has... Um, I think Chipper Jones, both righty and lefty, has a lifetime 300. Average, right? I'm pretty sure he has that distinction, which is pretty incredible. Possibly over 300 for, from both sides. Oh, it looks like Jack got it, says Drew. Bill Miller. Old Red Sox, Bill Miller. Out of 25, Andres Jimenez for the Mets, the Metropolitans. Yeah, I actually don't remember Bill Miller doing that either. It's crazy. I was I was gonna say it's probably someone you don't expect to hit two grand slams. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Big boys, double oh seven. This is a family show. Is this true? Is that what is that what TMZ Sports says? Julio Rodriguez to four ninety nine. There's Forrest Whitley. That's a one per box atomic for the hobby edition. The 
apparently Big Boy 007, Big Boy 007 is claiming that uh, that Chipper Jones this is very true. Really, that I had no idea. Him and Warren Sapp buddies. Uh, apparently, uh, Chipper Jones in San Francisco has has enjoyed a uh, a lady of the night or two. Maybe has visited a house of ill repute. May 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 have taken part in those services. That's random trivia. Remember who sang the national anthem in Game One of the '88 World Series, where Kirk Gibson at the game winning? I have no idea. I think that was in San Diego, MH. No, I don't remember that, but I do remember. Does everyone remember uh, Carl Lewis attempting to sing the national anthem? Derek confirming that Chipper Jones enjoyed Ladies of the Night in, in the ATL as well. <laughs> All right. I mean, hey. It was Debbie Gibson, really? For game one? Jared's got me on Chipper Jones stats. Wow. His slash line, 304, 405, 542 lefty, 305, 391, 499 righty. That's pretty, that's pretty solid. Colby Allard to 499 is your autograph out of this hobby box. That goes to the Bravos. Jason with the Braves. That well now I'm never gonna I'm never gonna forget it now, Wayne. Wayne's like struck me as weird as a Gibson saying the anthem and a Gibson won the game. Travis Swaggerty to 499 for the Pirates. One of their big draft picks from last year. <laughs> All right, now, same thing, but Jumbo Edition. Three autographs. That's right, yeah, that is the year Oral Hershiser. Had that 59-inning scoreless streak. Has that been... Did Jacob DeGrom beat that last year? Or did he fall short? That's a that's a crazy record. Or does, that, or does Hershiser's record still stand? He does a... He does a... He's the color guy on the TV broadcast. Joe Davis is play-by-play. -play. Some of you may know Joe Davis from college football. He's our he's our uh, TV guy in a, in a post Vince Scully world. No, I didn't. I don't think he quite hit sixty scoreless. I'm, I'm always sure that it was like fifty-eight or fifty-nine or something like that. I think he beat the previous record holder was another Dodger. I think it was Don Drysdale. Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe Degrom got close, but I don't think he quite got it. That's a tough one, especially you know Hershiser in the late '80s. That, that he's pitching in an era. Where, where starters are pitching regularly, 
or, or, or expected to pitch regularly into the sixth, seventh inning. So it's not like he was like a relief pitcher, you know, getting an inning at a time going scoreless, which I guess is hard, harder, hard too in its own respect. But that's a pretty impressive streak. Uh, the previous holder was Don Drysdale, right? Nice, yeah. All right, five more autographs out of this jumbo. Good luck, everybody. And then we'll close out with those two boxes in the back. Some nice Bowman Chrome HTA, three autographs, and Inception Baseball. Love that Inception Baseball. We did a nice full case last night. There's Brewer Hicklin. For the Royals... I'll go to Drew Kerr. $300 million man Machado just struck out with the bases loaded. Come on, Machado. He's on my fantasy team, too. Although, I once saw Mike Trout strike out with men in running scoring position, too. Kevin Smith to 499 for the Blue Jays. <laughs> Rick's just like, I just need one hit. I'm not greedy. I'm not greedy, Williams. Just need one hit. I never should have traded Rick. The trades always scare me. And I still still a lot of time. We've got four autographs to go here. Three to go right back there, and then one more in that inception. So still a lot of opportunities. Granky came close. Jack B saying Granky came close to that scoreless things. I think I remember that too. And there's Shane Boz to 150. Is Machado the the most hated guy in baseball? Is he? I don't think so. He's not my favorite player, but I don't hate him though. Maybe in the uh, maybe the in the NL East or the AL East, he's pretty hated. Red Sox fans definitely hate him. Maybe he is. Yeah. Who who are who are. Uh, <laughs> Who are baseball villains? I guess Machado is a baseball villain. <laughs> and the auto is for the Orioles out of 499, Rylan Bannon. Going to David Bruins and the O's. Wow, okay, so Jay Cohen saying Granky 45 and two thirds with the Dodgers in 2015. Man. It's pretty impressive. Blake Margot says Harper. It's got to be Harper that's hated the most. There's Dustin May for the Dodgers, 250, purple chrome. Conseco, maybe? That's a good one, Jay. Tim Anderson. Tim Anderson, those bad flips, people don't like don't like him. Yasiel, what about Yasiel Puig?
Yasiel is still, still pretty beloved in, in LA, though. How's he doing in Cincinnati? For those of you who are from that area. Should be expecting three more autographs out of here. Colton hates Mike Trout. <laughs> he just hates how talented he is. Jay Cohen says Cincinnati loves Puig. See, it's kind of guy that you, he's kind of guy that you hate when he's on the other team, but when he's on your team, I mean, he's he's a pretty pretty big personality. Like, I don't know if I don't. He's got to he's got to shape up some some r rough edges. Baseball wise, still make some defensive mistakes, some base running mistakes. But But yeah, he's pretty popular. This is Alex Verdugo. He's gonna get some time. There's Chris Paddock to two ninety nine. With uh, AJ Pollock being out for a little bit. Elbow issues for him again. Okay, bets starting to heat up. And we got another Oriole coming up. It's Dean Kramer. 100 out of 150 blue chrome autograph for David Bruins. Jarrett reminding us about... Uh, AJ uh, Przinsky hate. Yeah, I think he was one of those guys too, Jarrett. Where like he and he bounced around a number of teams where people where teammates were like, "Yeah, I hate him when he's on the other team, but when he's on your team, you love AJ Przinsky." Just you know, just being a a hole and you know, just really, really getting it to other players' heads. Brian O doesn't like Hoskins because of the way he spells his first name. Jose Bautista, right. He was a villain for a little while. Oh, yeah, there's only three, right. I thought there was five for a second, but no, only three. <laughs> Sorry, Rick. Yeah, Rick's like, I'm never trading again. Well, we still got us. We still got some chances for Diamondbacks in here as well. So we could even out that trade, Rick. All right. Good luck to you, Rick. Good luck to everybody. And let's not forget this randomizer for the Vlad Guerrero Jr. Baseball, autograph baseball. No, I, I I've never heard the Kevin Millar AJ Przinsky story. I'll look, I'll have to look that up. I kind of like Kevin. I, I think he's kind of funny. I do like intentional talk. All right, first one is Ryan Helsley for the Redbirds. That goes to Austin and the Cardinals. Are we pro bat flip or anti bat flip? Uh, I'm pro bat flip. I mean, I feel like there's it's got to be there's got to be some context to it. If it's like a first inning dong, you know, like come on, don't don't flip your bat first inning. You know what I mean? Jody says skunky. We're not done yet, Jody. There's still two more autographs here. One more in here. Play to the whistle. You never know. Next one is a pirate, Lolo Sanchez. Twenty-eight out of four ninety-nine. So what he hated, the, Millar hated the umpire, and he was squeezing him. Got a pitch pretty much down the middle. It wasn't called a strike, and he asked for a new one. Ump says why? He just says, "I want to get a ball, and you can see." And he, so 
Pruszynski just got into an altercation with an um. No one ever really knew why. Pirates auto goes to Nancy. Then we've got Chris Torres for the Marlins. 105 out of 250. That's for Chris Parent and the Marlins. Is Przinsky the longest name, last name in baseball, in Major League Baseball? Or is it Todd Hollinsworth? All right, cross your fingers, everybody. Last box coming up. Oh, and then we're still giving this away. So that could still be a hit right there, folks. All oh, that's the autograph right there. Okay. All right, we got Bryce Wilson. Chance Adams to 25. Oh, is Jared Saltalamakia the longest last name? All right, so Blake's agreeing too. Yeah, that goes that goes from under the armpit to under the armpit, right? The name. All right, and then we've got Fran Mel Reyes, 73 out of 75 for the Padres. I feel like he's been having a nice little season. There you go, Juan, with the Padres. All right, and there you go, folks. That was the mixer. That was the Vlad Guerrero Jr. mixer where we pulled the Vlad Guerrero Jr., Autograph early in the break. And we're going to give away an autographed Vlad Guerrero Jr. baseball. So the name on top, everyone and everyone has a shot at this. The name on top will get the ball. Second name will get the San Diego Chicken card. And the third name will get the American Pride Parker Karachi. It's 25, who I think is playing for Ole Miss right now. All right, so let's go back to... Go back to the list right there. So everyone from Rick down to Jeremy and everyone in between. Good luck. Let's roll the dice. Let's randomize that list six and a two, eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time. Six and a two. After eight times, we got a card going to Nancy. Got a card going to Big Boys 007. That's the San Diego Chicken. And the ball winner is David Duffy. There you go, David Duffy. The autographed Vlad Guerrero Jr. baseball will be heading to you, JSA and everything. There you go. Thanks, everyone. Great mixer. Great chat. We'll see you for the next one on jazbeescasebreaks.com.